But the naptime chef is at it again. This time she has a brand new cookbook out, and it is perfect for busy moms. Kelsey Banfield joins us back again in the Bender Kitchen. Great to have you here. Thank you. Thanks for having me. So this is a, a great cookbook. So if you ever have an event, you go yes. through the calendar. You have plenty of ideas in here. Exactly. It's the whole year, the family year, and all the events and recipes for each event. I mean, and it's organized by season. Are we talking about... Christmas bake sales, yes, everything, Christmas right? bake sales, religious holidays, Passover, <laughs> Easter, but then also Cinco de Mayo, Teacher Appreciation Week, ah. graduation parties, beach picnics, all those things that come up. They're maybe a little above and beyond your usual everyday cooking for you and your family. Makes sense. Where did the yeah. idea come from? Just because um, you were busy in the kitchen? Exactly, and because my daughter was in preschool, and then in, um, now she's in grade school, and there was all all of a sudden this. We have a bake sale. Can you bring something? We have a father daughter dance. Can you bring something? Ah. Um, teacher Appreciation Week, and then I was starting to host our family holidays and I thought I need like back pocket recipes that I can turn to over and over. So you created the cookbook. Exactly. So I wrote the <laughs> so book So we myself. all can enjoy it exactly. now. Exactly. Fantastic. So today we're making uh, a quiche, but yes. it's got a little kick to it, this right? This is a great quiche because it always transports well and it's, everyone loves it. Mm. It's a bacon and green chili quiche. So I'm going to start by layering in the bacon and green chilies. And you can help me by cracking the last egg sure. and whisking it with the milk. Okay. And I have to say, I made this for our teacher appreciation brunch few years ago when my daughter was in nursery school mm -hmm. and everyone loved it and I started giving out the recipe and then the next year they asked me to make a quiche and I thought why reinvent the wheel if this works <laughs> keep make doing it, it again exactly so if you kind of I think good recipes are like that you can go back to them over and over and that's the thing and you're that allowed I wanna... to cheat a little bit too right exactly oh of With course the, uh, so I you know I make the crust at home but for this for coming all the way up here and getting everything ready I thought you know what I'm just using a frozen crust and if people want to do that at home I will not judge I would <laughs> <do that. I'll laughs> see. so we've layered in the bacon and the green chilies and we're gonna put a lot of shredded cheese on top so there's all sorts of good ingredients and I'll say too, if you're pressed for time and you have some time in, earlier in the week, mm -hmm. you can also make this and freeze it. Ah, that's a great which idea. Which is another good tip for busy parents. So how is that? All set? I think we're all mixed together here. All right, I'm going to put in the salt and pepper, give it one more whisk, and then you can pour it in okay. on top. And this is really, that's your quiche. All these wow. good flavors, but it's not difficult to assemble. And then you pop it in the oven for about 40 minutes at 400 degrees. You get a nice cheesy quiche. All of this goes right in? Yep, and it'll, you can, it'll go right to the rim. Oh, it does. Yeah. Perfectly. Yep, it's the perfect cheesy quiche. So we have a slice for you to eat, and I'll say I'll what I like to do, yeah, is I make this into a little brunch or even ah. dinner. And I have um, another trick in my book is I make bulk salad dressings for the week. So this is my creamy balsamic. Mm. You like it? I love it. I think it would and be also awesome pepper too. <laughs> yes. That is fantastic. Yes, we'll right. To it. Good flavor. Very nice. Thank you. And um, what I do with my salad dressings is I'll make one big salad dressing batch for the week. Oh. Because I think homemade salad dressings always taste always better. Always taste better, yeah. And that way, I mean, why would you make it every night? We can make it once and have it for five days. So this is Makes my creamy balsamic. Make it in a little side salad. And then, I'm sorry you can't partake, but I also, you know, we just had some mimosas yesterday, so I thought I'd bring them along yes, to share some course. pomegranate mimosas with pomegranate juice and champagne. Great. Now, any secret yeah. ingredients to the balsamic? No, it's just, that's the thing. No, it, the more, the point of it is that it's a very... It's easy. <laughs> it's an easy balsamic with a little, a little mayo for cream, but that you can make. I will make that shaker full of salad dressing and just pop it in the fridge for the week. That's great. Yes, and you can just turn to it whenever you need it. Very nice. Now, yes. any other variations we could do with the quiche? I'm sure you well, could if add you ham make a meat, or something. Yes, right? if you want to make it meat-free, you can certainly take out the bacon. Mm -hmm. You could add more vegetables if you want to do some caramelized onions. You know, once you've got your quiche recipe, right. you can start tweaking it. But that's the point of having go-to recipes is that if you're going to make you know, Thanksgiving dinner once a year, instead of trying to reinvent the wheel every year and stress <laughs> yourself out, just stick to the recipes that you know work, learn how to make them really well, and make them your own. Very good. And where can we find the cookbook? Um, anywhere online or at your favorite local retailer. Very nice. Thanks so much for being here. Thank Thanks you for, for having me. Yes. <laughs>